Welcome back, welcome back to HGV Talks. I'm Breezy, and we are another weekend. Um, I had a good week this week, honestly. Um, I know the last one I was talking about, you know, focusing on my health and whatnot, and I did a pretty good job this week, I would say. Um, I did pretty good with, like, dieting and stuff. I've been counting calories again and whatnot. Ugh, just as like a as something to track when it comes to diet i mean i'm not super crazy about worrying about what i eat you know i've talked about before my biggest diet issue is drinking alcohol uh alone not aside from just the fact that you know alcohol is not good for you it also is you know it kind of gets you to end up eating worse too on top of it so uh feels good to you know have a good month you know of no drinking so that's what my goal is gonna be and doing months i've done months before and it always feels really good so i want to do that i did have some drinks last night unfortunately <laughs> uh i ended up kind of saying you know i had a great week and you know it was friday night um me shot to work and my friend yeah, you know, me and him were talking, and I was like, you know what? I've had a good week. I want to, you know, celebrate a little bit tonight. Just have a good little couple drinks. And it wasn't nothing crazy, but feel fine today. It wasn't, you know, not, not out of control. But uh, even that still isn't what I want to do. You know, I didn't mind it. It wasn't like a, you know, super big, like, oh, I fell off the wagon type feeling or nothing like that. It was just, I did it. Had a couple drinks, we hung out, had some good conversations and whatnot, and then I woke up today and I was like, you know what, I really didn't need to drink last night. You know, I didn't really drink that much. And, you know, my buddy didn't drink that much either. It, was like, it wasn't really that big of a thing. So, I feel like I just need to remember in those situations, even if it's just like, you know, you and your buddies hanging out, where 99% of the time you would have drinks that you just don't need to on all of them. Mm. Ah, coffee. Um, so yeah, I'm going to keep trying to do another week of that and get another good weekend diet wise and exercise and, um, see if we can compound these and stack them up and get the ball rolling on it. Uh, we got soul link been going up still that series is going well. I think I'm going to start a series, a solo playthrough so I can have videos going up pretty much every single day. Uh, right now it's pretty much, I'm putting up the podcast on Sundays and then I have one or two videos a week depending on if it's uploaded on my channel or max. So it's like technically on my channel, I'm only getting one or two long form videos a week, which isn't really what I want. I want to have more long form videos. So I think I'm going to start a solo playthrough too. Like in the month of May, I uploaded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I had 10 videos go up in May. Um, Three of them being podcast. Did I miss a week? I did. The first week of May I missed. What was I doing? Hmm. What was I doing that day? It was May 5th that I missed. Cinco de Mayo. Oh, I went on the bachelor party. That's what it was. That's what it was. I was like, why did I miss my podcast one day, one week this month? It's because I went to Jiro's bachelor party. Okay. All right. And that's what the you know topic of my next podcast was. So, all right. That makes more sense. But yeah, so three videos are pod, uh, podcasts. And then I had three, four soloing videos. Um, The Emerald National Deck, Emerald National Deck's win I uploaded. And then I had two episodes of the end of the last Emerald National Deck series that I did. So that's not really what I want to do. I want to get more videos uploaded. So I think this video is going up Sunday. You should be seeing a first video, I would say, Tuesday. I'm going to start a new series. I'm just deciding this right at this moment. So I don't know what the game's going to be yet. Uh, maybe I'll figure that out right after this episode is done. Uh, I've been heavily debating on doing Yellow Legacy or Crystal Legacy. Uh, they're both really cool games. I would like to just try doing a Nuzlocke of it. It's kind of like a more classic style game, but with just 
uh, like quality of life stuff added to it. Um, let's see, the last Nuzlocke I've done was the Emerald National Dex Radical Red, the Bree uh, the Pokemon White Breeze Lock, which was in November of 2023. Pokemon Y Breeze Lock, which was, it was in June last year. So it's already been a year. I've only done like four Nuzlocke on stream, aside from Soul Links and whatnot, but um hmm. The first breeze lock was over a year ago. That's crazy to me. That sounds so crazy to me. Oh man. Team Rocket Edition was a little over a year ago. I heard there's a second Team Rocket Edition. And I heard it's really good. So that's gonna be on the that'll be on the horizon. But yeah, the, I've never done a Gen 1 playthrough outside of the Soul Link. So I think Pokemon Yellow Legacy is what I'm gonna go for. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Uh, I'll probably just, I'll figure out exactly how I want to do it. I'm probably going to do Nuzlocke and I don't know. I don't know. Kind of just play it as is. Um, I wanted to go through some of the comments from the last podcast. Uh, we had Ryan who was talking, he works for NBC Sports and he said he handles Boston often. He said, go Mavs, which, you know, go Celtics but uh, is what it is. Um, yeah, you were saying something. He was on a similar boat of trying to get a new PCP after, uh, you know, a rough couple months and had similar news. Like he was saying, he was happy that I'm talking about the, you know, I said my liver enzymes or whatever were a little high. And, you know, it's, I've always, you know, I feel like there's a lot of people that watch, maybe not these podcasts, the viewership on these podcasts is pretty bad, but I still like doing them. Uh, but there's a lot of people who watch my content and like I try to be as transparent about pretty much everything. Um, whether it's, you know, personal stuff or health stuff or financial stuff. I know a lot of people I don't like to talk about the financials of streaming, which I said I, you know, I think being transparent about stuff is the best way. Only way I know how to be. Um, I was actually, I was having a conversation about it last night with my buddy. Uh, and, you know, I was just trying to explain, like, the way that this job's stressful and stuff and how hard it can be, but you know, I'd love it and I wouldn't trade it for the world. And he's a teacher. So we were talking about like comparisons of it and whatnot, but yeah, I just feel like I try to always be transparent about it. You know, I got stuff, little things like, you know, the gamer advantage glasses that, you know, people like glass. If they want some blue light glasses, they buy some, you know, put my code in, it helps me out a little bit. Um, people who, buy merch or something like that you know it's i don't make a ton off of those things i try to price everything so that it's as like you get the most value most bang for your buck it's kind of how i've always been that's why i always tried to do like the uh sabotages so people you know if they donate to my stream it's you know it's you get something back for it you know i try to give as much value to it as much as possible. Cause I know it's at the end of the day, it's, you know, you guys just deciding to throw money at me, you know, it's, <laughs> it's not, there's no real incentive to do it other than supporting me, which mm, some people may or may not feel like it's necessary to do that. You know, it's not, you just watch the content. You can, never donate for years and i would never even think twice about it i don't there's plenty of people who watch my streams every day or in my chat all the time they don't donate a penny and i don't care it doesn't bother me the people who do donate of course i appreciate that i do appreciate them in a whole different way you know than viewers who don't um but i really don't i never want viewers to feel like they have to donate so like that's why i think that's why people don't usually like talking about the financials of streaming and like talk about like if they have bad months or good months or whatever because they don't want people to even you just don't want that to be an aspect that people are either concerned about or worried about, but I don't know. Like I said, I can't, I don't know how to do it any other way. So it's the way I do it. Um, watching the videos, you guys go through and watch YouTube videos of mine. You play series and just watch them. You know, I don't make a ton off of YouTube. You know, it's the amount of views I get, you know, I only have a couple videos that are over a thousand views and you know, my best video of all time maybe has made 20 bucks and you know, it's like, that's basically an hour of work that I put into a video for the most part. Depends what video, some of them are more, some are less, but you know, it's usually about 30 minutes of recording, then editing, uploading, 
responding to comments or reading the comments and you know making the thumbnails quick and stuff like that. It's usually about at least an hour work per video. And for the most part, I make a couple bucks on each one. Uh, but the way I look at it is, you know, the amount of videos that I've gotten now, you know, I have almost, I think, like, let me see how much do I have. This show. I have 1.6K uh, videos. Obviously, those could be a lot of short form videos too. It's to probably call it, you know, into it, but there's like a, probably at least a, like a thousand long form videos or something. It's, I've done so many now. It's crazy. So people who find me and find my content and enjoy it, they go back and watch, you know, a series from 2022 or 2021. And oh, excuse me. Um, it, you know, it's fun. It's nice. I like it. And, you know, people tell me all the time how happy they are that like, you know, I do these series and people, you know, it makes a difference to people. So it's not always about the money. That's why I, uh, I guess that's why people don't like to talk about it, but I feel like I'm just rambling right now. I'm going to look at some of my videos. Let me see how many videos I got that are over a thousand views. My best video of all time. It used, oh, it's just got passed recently. My best video is my first episode of Moon Black 2. I, the title was The Perfect ROM Hack, Pokemon Moon Black 2. It has 1,604 views. It's my best video of all time. It's a 15-minute video. And it's made $20.11. My second best video is a Fortnite video. Now, this video is probably not made hardly anything because this video randomly popped off like years ago. Yeah, it's made no dollars. It's made zero dollars. It randomly got like 1,500 views like when I first dropped it, but I wasn't monetized at the time, so... Um, it didn't, you know, didn't matter. Um, let me see this radical red one. This is like my second best video. My first episode of radical red nose lock. I made $15 on 1.4 thousand views. So, you know, it's, it's not always, you know, it's not crazy amounts. My best videos of all time, an hour of work for 15 bucks. I'm not mad at it. And like I said, they, it, it accumulates. So people find my content, they go through series and these videos could keep making me money on days that I haven't worked at all. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's a weird job, but I still, I do love it at the end of the day. There's not a job in the world I would trade it for. Um, and it's something I was kind of talking about last night with my buddy. Cause I was, cause I was saying how annoying it can be sometimes when people go into a streamer's chat or I'll just say for me, cause it's, you know, my, my perspective, but you know, when people come into the stream or like they joke about like, Oh yeah, you call it work. You're not even working. Like I, you don't work a real job. Like these types of jobs, like jokes and whatever. I nine of the time people are making the joke and I get they're just trolling and whatnot, but I do know that people, most people who have never streamed do feel like streaming is the easiest job in the world. And, you know, I feel like people who started streaming when they were teenagers and got famous and have never had an actual job and have only streamed, you can, that's a valid point you can make to them. Like, you don't know what real work is, but I didn't become full-time until I was almost 30 years old. I worked real jobs. I had mortgages. I had bills I was paying. I had, you know, car loans. I was working every single day full-time for until I was freaking 30 years old when I started full-time streaming. So, like, I know real jobs, quote-unquote real jobs compared to this, and I promise this job is not something that is very easy. It's not easy at all. Um, I think I... My life was so much easier and less stressful doing regular jobs than doing content creating, but I love it. You know, it's, if you say you're, if you're in the NFL or an NBA or professional athlete, people are, oh, you play games for a living. You just play sports. You love it. It's like, yeah, that doesn't mean they don't work extremely hard and they're not extremely stressed out from it. And there's a million different things that happen from that, that you just want to understand because it's such a weird job, but you know, it's not something people do if you don't love it. There's definitely content creators out there who have gotten famous for nothing. And, you know, they just, you get to a point almost with content where like you're getting enough views of people who either love you or hate you. Regardless, you're getting a lot of views. So you're making money so they can, you know, half-ass it and not really 
put real effort in they can do it just out of spite just to make money and it works but you know for a creator of my size where i have to actually you know pull the weight of everything and really consistently try to make the best content i can and show up for uh um like show up for streams just like really try to be very present in it all and be extremely active for me to actually have any success with it i can't take time off and you know just half ass for a couple months and still make money you know my best months where i work my hardest i can make you know less money than i would make if i worked minimum wage at you know a mcdonald's like so like that stress from that definitely adds up sometimes it, it comes in waves too you know what i mean like there's some times where right now it's i'm pretty good obviously the subathon was ballistic um and obviously being able to pay stuff off from that and have money saved up now it like huge weight off of your shoulders so like that's gonna keep me feeling comfortable for a long time hopefully if nothing comes up that's gonna <laughs> make me take all my savings out but you know having to you being able to have some money saved up to like take care of myself for a few months and I have to stress the money as much as great feeling. Um, and even like on some bad months where it always would happen. I don't know how my career has even lasted as long as it has, but every month it would feel like, you know, it'd be the 30th or the 31st of a month. And I'm like, damn, I got 40 subs this month. I made 200 bucks, whatever. I'm just throwing numbers out. I'm like, damn, it's going to be a rough month, like eating food for the next <laughs> couple of weeks, like trying not to, spend too much on whatever and you know paying certain bills and whatnot like those months especially at the like when i was at the last house like you know credit card debts and the car payments and you know the mortgage like i was paying all of that and it was you know exhausting and you know those bad months really could get to you um but there'd be months like i said it'd be like the 30th or the 29th and i'm like dude i don't know what i'm gonna do this month and then someone comes through that hasn't been in stream for two months and they drop 50 subs or something i'm like what the hell it's like oh it's like a huge weight gets lifted off your shoulders but you know it felt like for a long time even up and pretty much until the subathon you know it's so many month to month of just like waiting for someone to come through and kind of like save you it's kind of like how it felt and that might be a bad explanation but you know it's kind of how it felt you know just you know i'm thinking constantly of like you know, what kind of side job could I do where I work a part-time thing so I can make a consistent income so I can, you know, get that pressure off me. And, and then I have a big month where, you know, a bunch of people donate like crazy that I don't understand why they did. And then, you know, I have a subathon that goes crazy. Like, like I said, it's just in waves. Some are some, you know, the lows can be really low. The highs can be extremely high. Luckily it's been pretty good lately. I'm just hoping that, you know, for my personal sake that before this you know subathon savings is gone then i'm able to kind of level out with you know the viewership on videos and maybe get you know hopefully something will pop off if i had like one video on youtube or tiktok just like go a little crazy and get me like a bunch of subs and followers tiktok's getting really close to it tiktok's really let me see where we're at we're at like 9200 i think 9,220 followers. So I'm getting oh, I'm so freaking close, man. If we hit the 10K on TikTok, then I can post longer form videos and they will um, actually, it'll be, it'll be like YouTube, like the more views you get, the more money you make. It's not like crazy amount unless something goes stupid viral, but you know, there's a potential to earn on TikTok that originally wasn't there. So Regardless of how it is, you know, it could be really, really beneficial to me. So I'm excited. Excuse me. I'm excited to get into that and see how that goes. And, you know, the merch is really dope. I really wish more people bought merch, honestly. It's like, I don't even make a lot of money from merch. It's not a financial thing. I make a couple bucks off of most things, like a dollar or two. I try to keep the margins like extremely low. But like, I just love it. I think the Breezy merch looks so good. I don't even... I like the logo ones, but I prefer, honestly, I like the, just the Breezy, like, cursive. I like it so much. Um, I ordered 
a couple different hats. I bought some samples. They're not on the website yet. Uh, but I bought a couple samples because I want to um, I want to see how the hats feel for me. Uh, the Adidas hat I did put on there. I ordered another hat. Um, I forget what brand it was, but it, you know, it's one of the options I had. So there's an Adidas one that I put on there. It's a snapback. Uh, cause my, you know, Sour Patch hat's getting broken and, you know, I want to just find a new one that I can wear day to day, wear my own merch every day if I can. Uh, I think it's just a cool thing. People wearing it. So, uh, what else? What else is going on? Uh, this is kind of a long one. I've been kind of rambling today. I like it. I like it. Um, yeah, between Dylan and Ryan's comments, I hope I kind of covered, I'm you know, kind of responding to that. Uh, Benny, I, I apologize. I did not bet on the Wolves to win. I mean, to lose any of the games. So the Wolves, unfortunately, did not make it to the finals. It's going to be Celtics Mavs. Um, I think it's going to be really good. I'm excited to see. Uh, I'm really excited for the Celtics, man. I'm really excited. Uh, I kind of wanted to stream today. Low key. Just think about that right now. My wife is on her way home right now. She went hiking with her brother. Might do a short stream. Might do a short stream. We'll see. Although I do got to edit the Soul Link video that goes up for Monday. And I want to start a new YouTube series. So I might not have time to stream. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to text Michelle and see what she wants to do today. See how she's feeling. Because if I have more time, I better get all that done and stream. So... Uh, if you guys got any questions, though, if you got any topics you want to even talk about or whatever, like I said, as always, leave some comments. Um, I love going through them. I like appreciate everybody who checks out these podcasts. I know they're kind of just random ramblings of Breezy, but they help me. They help me go through my week and just sort my thoughts and stuff. It's kind of like a meditation. I don't know if that's if this is kind of classifies as that's the right word for it, but I like it. It helps me a lot, so I appreciate everybody who checks it out. And if it helps you out, too, I'm happy about that. So... Uh, yeah, leave some comments and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.